This is one of the most widely sold cheeses on earth, cheddar. It's made in many countries, but what exactly is so special about this cheese? A good place to find out might well be where cheddar originated in Somerset, a region in southwestern England. What sets cheddar apart? Quite difficult to answer that. Cheddar is quite tight and a dense cheese. It's purely the way that the curd is handled and the way it's pressed. The cheddaring process that makes cheddar what it is. Cheddaring? This is what it looks like, but we'll take a closer look later on. The cheese dairy in Somerset still makes cheddar the traditional way. So what's the secret of the original? Is it in the basic ingredient, the milk? Here it comes from grass-fed cows. There's very good grass in Somerset. There's sometimes eight, about 18 different varieties of grasses in there and they've got lots of advantages. Um, in that different grasses will come mature at different times of year and some of the herbs will enhance the flavour of the cheese. The milk is delivered to Westcombe Dairy at 6am. First it's heated and then acidified using a yoghurt culture. Cheese maker Rob Howard adds rennet, an enzyme from the stomach of calves, to make cheese out of it. In the rennet is uh, an enzyme called chymosin, and uh, that reacts with the proteins in the milk. Um, the protein starts uh, unraveling and joining together, and then we see that uh, in, in, this, in the milk and in the set uh, as, it, as it forms a gel. The curd is cut in thick blocks and separated from the whey, and the remaining liquid is pressed out. He then cuts and piles up the sheets of curd over and over, pressing the moisture out and hardening the cheese. We call this cheddaring. It's a term, it's a word only really used by cheddar makers. And it's the layer, the gradual stacking up of uh, the, the blocks of curd. With every stack, I'll go slightly higher. Um, and as they, as they stretch, and the point is to uh, uh, stretch, the curd, stretch the curd, squeeze out any moisture that's still left in there, and, and this brings about a good texture in the finished cheese, so um, a, a compact, dense texture. By the end of the day, the cheese has been pressed into a round mould and laid on shelves to ripen for 12 to 18 months. The ageing facility is designed to recreate the climate of the cool cellars and caves that were used traditionally. The hard cheese was first mentioned in the 12th century in the village of Cheddar in Somerset. Now only one cheese dairy remains there. Today, cheddar cheese is mostly made industrially. The name is not protected, so the various kinds may taste very different. Cheddars that you buy in a supermarket or that you get abroad that is quite generic, um, textures different, quite rubbery, um, not necessarily so creamy. Cheddar is sold in various stages of maturity, from mild to sharp and extra mature. The Westcombe Dairy's own shop only carries one, but the flavour still varies. With the raw milk cheddar, uh, they all a bit different. So different days will have a slightly different pro uh, flavour profile. I mean, our cheese is made with the milk from the day that that cow gives. In a big cheddar factory, they standardise the milk. They get all the milk together because in the supermarkets and places like that, they want a product that tastes very similar every day. We want something that tastes slightly different every day. Even if cheddar is rarely from cheddar, this cheese, born in the southwest of England, is enjoyed by cheese lovers around the world.